Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to the West Ham Transfer Rumour Show where we don't make up the rumours, we just discuss them and usually dismiss them. Now I know what you're all thinking, Geo mate, come on, give us a break, it's middle of March, it's too early for transfer rumours. Well A, I'm pretty desperate for content, it's an international break right, leave, leave it out, if you've got any good ideas for videos, let me know in the comments because I'm going to steal some of them for the next couple of weeks. I've recorded a tier list video, but I need to send it to Charlie and get him to edit it. I can't edit it, that, that kind of thing. So Charlie needs to make it all, look all good, and then we'll upload that towards the end of the week. But second of all, you're foolish. If you think that, even even in the middle of March, that West Ham United, okay, other Premier League clubs aren't already planning for the summer transfer window. Plus, I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of transfer rumours coming up in the next couple of weeks. It's international break, because did you know... But during international break, there's more leaks from clubs about transfer targets than during the usual season when there's Premier League games going on. Funny, isn't it? Some would say it's a coincidence. Others would say journalists are just making stuff up. Anyway, other good news. Look what I found. I found a paint book in a drawer. I didn't know I had this. I must have bought it ages ago. But oh, look at all that blank pages. So that solved my problem. Um, um, that's on the front cover already. Uh, I must have used that for... A video a year ago or something so bonus hammers chat point if you know what video that's from and um, it's quite fitting though isn't it so let's get straight into it with Gerard Delafeo got linked to him a couple of weeks ago the only reason I know that's because Gonzo did it um, but we've been linked to him again and he's come back again in the last 24 hours the reason being is because it's been revealed or claimed that West Ham had a scout at the Napoli Udinese game well, that's a start because Delafeo plays for Udinese. Don't know why we'd go watch Napoli AC Milan if we're after Delafeo. Anyway, there was supposedly a West Ham scout there. He scored in the game. We all know about him. He's played for Everton. He's played for Watford. 28 years old. Just turned 28, I should say. But he's playing for he's playing centre forward for Udinese, which is perhaps the interesting thing. We've seen him playing on the left and the right for Watford and Everton, but not really through the middle. He's gone over to Italy. Centre forward, nine goals this season in the league, plus a couple of assists. So a decent campaign by all the means, and I think his. I think you look at it that transfer rumor. You look at the player, seventeen million as well, and you can see a, a little bit of reasoning behind this. You can you sort of believe it a little bit in why David Moyes would perhaps be interested in him. Uh, it ticks a lot of the boxes, doesn't it? I know Moyes has got this idea of the the Red Bull model, but I think it's a bit of a pipe dream. I, I've never understood this. Managers claiming they want to sign young players because which club doesn't? Like I've, I've always said, bar Burnley, no club sits down and says, let's sign 32-year-old. It, it doesn't happen. I know it relates to your budget. So you've got the money, you're going to have to sign players in that category. But ideally, every club wants to sign youngsters, right? Anyway, so the age thing of players, I'm sort of dismissing a little bit already. But the interesting thing, Pablo Fernandes is best mate, apparently. I saw a newspaper article today saying that he, uh, Gerard Delafeu and Pablo Fernandes is best mate. And Fernandes is trying to get him to West Ham. don't know why I'm surprised. It's not like I know who Pablo Fernandes' friends is. I'm reading it like, Pablo, you filthy... But you backstabber. How could you be mates with Gerard Delafeu? So I don't know why it surprised me. But he just did. But I'll tell you what. If you want one player to sell West Ham to one of his friends. And obviously I mean a professional footballer. Not like... You're Declan, do you know anyone down Hackney Marshes? You could get into, yeah, I, I, I know Bob, I'll have a word with him. I'm, sh I'm sure he'll join West Ham and have a word with him. But if you want a player, you want a player at West Ham to persuade another player to join West Ham, it's probably Pablo for now, isn't it? Can you imagine the enthusiasm he's got when speaking about West Ham? Be like, hi Gerard, West Ham is massive. You know, it's sold, Pablo, let me just pack my suitcase. But what's happened to Suchek? Has he been demoted as sort of top scout and recruiter for West Ham. I'm not surprised, to be fair. Be like, Thomas, mate, come here. This Alex Crow you told us to sign on loan, useless, demoted, no new contract for you. No wonder Suchek's had the hump all season. He's no longer top scout. Finals has been promoted to attack midfielder slash recruiter. Anyway, without being silly for two minutes, uh, would I like Delafeo at West Ham? I guess so. I, I wouldn't be doing cartwheels. I think Gonzo would like Delafeo more than I would. It's not quite a damn Traore stuff, though. I think he's a good player. I think he'd be a reasonably good fit. But I think my concern is, why would we would be signing him? Where would he play? If the answer's striker, then I don't want it. I want a striker to be striker. No, more. He's a converted winger. He's exactly what Antonio is. He's a winger that's converted to playing up front. I don't want that. I want a striker. I just want a striker to play striker. I want square pegs and square holes. 
Is it too? Yeah, it probably is too much to ask for. But anyway, shall we leave the Della Fail thing and move on to the next transfer rumor? But before we do, point in the direction of the One Football app. The One Football app is sponsoring this video. It's the best way to keep up to date with all the transfer rumors. To be honest with you, uh, the links in the description and the pinned comments. While you're in the pinned comments, leave your video ideas so I can steal some. Get downloaded to your device. It takes just 15 seconds. You can follow your t favorite teams, but also your competitions and the Europa League. You can click on the Europa League, follow that competition because we're still in it. Uh, we've got Leon uh, just over a couple of weeks away, but what's perhaps interesting with Leon? It's a transfer rumor, right? We know that the, the the window's open for clubs to sign foreign players from Ukraine and Russia till the end of the season. And one of the best players available is David Neres, who used to play for Ajax. Leon are favourites to sign him at the minute. Now, perhaps the most interesting thing is in the last couple of days, UEFA have announced that any club that signs a player from Ukraine or Russia can add them to their European squad. So if Leon were to go and sign David Neres, they can actually add him into the Europa League squad and he would be available to face West Ham in the quarterfinals. Likewise, West Ham signed anyone, we can put them in our squad and they'd be available to face Leon as well. So, a bit of an interesting development for you. And um, the best way to keep up to date if Leon signs him is on one football app. So, get downloaded. Links in the description and the pinned comments. Now, back to the transfer rumours. Karen Phillips is back, not for Leeds, uh, in the transfer rumours show. Been linked to him again for 60 to 70 million. We all have that, we know about that mystery. Did it happen? Did it not happen? Bid in January and the reports are suggesting that we're going to make a move again in the summer. I'm torn on this one. Like he's a fantastic player. He really is unbelievable. If he did if he wasn't injury prone, I'd be all over this. I'd say yes please. But I think he is quite injury prone. Also, I think why are we signing him would worry me a little bit. Is it to replace Declan? Well if so, I'm okay with that actually because surely he's him and Basuma are two players at the very top of the list of deck and when who would get in Basuma and Calvin Phillips is two, two of the players that's got to be a, near the top but is it to play alongside Declan well we'd be buying England's partnership in midfield wouldn't we could you imagine England's two centre midfielders play for West Ham that's massive that would be huge for us but 60 70 million it's a big chunk of the money isn't it I don't know how much we've got to spend in summer but even if we said 100 million which I doubt it is, but let's say it was. It's still more than half of it gone, and we've not even got a striker in the door yet. So, um, top player, I think it's a fair price for Calvin Phillips. I just think it would be a bad spend of money for West Ham United, and I think he's going to Aston Villa, to be honest with you. Anyway, uh, moving on to somebody outgoing, hopefully. Uh, Arthur Masuaku. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a bit harsh. It's a bit harsh. He, he's perhaps deserves a little bit better but um, I'd be delighted to see him leave you know he's been linked with a move away and David Moyes is supposedly ready to sell him for 5 million not loads of money so we'll take a small loss on him but I think he's done okay you know I'm not his biggest fan I've never been his biggest fan but we, I'm pleased to see him leave in the summer because we need a left back we need somebody that's going to come in and challenge Aaron Creswell that's going to nick Aaron Creswell's spot there it, I'm hoping for somebody quite young that could have eventually displaced Alan Cresswell. Well, we're in no hurry to replace him, but we need a succession plan at least. Aaron Hickey is still perfect for that role. I still really want Aaron Hickey, can you tell? But Maswaku leaving is sort of the first domino to fall in regards to the left back. Because we're not going to sign another one while we still got Maswaku. We're just not going to have Creswell, Maswaku and eight other left back at the club. We're just not. Especially when we've got Sufal and Ben Johnson and Ben Johnson can cover over at the left back and while Frederick's contract is still running out this summer he may get a new one we don't know we've also got Harrison Ashby coming through so we're quite okay on the right side of the fence which might make, make Moyes think well we can use Johnson on the left if need be so we'll be we'll just take it a little bit patient so uh, Maswak leaving for 5 million yes please now uh, Joe Waddle of Nottingham Forest been linked to him heaps haven't we and well, this show is no different. I, I've watched a little bit of Forest recently, actually. Not just the FA Cups in the Championship as well. Could they play good football? I think Cooper's doing a marvellous job with them. And I'd like them to get promoted, actually. I'd like to, to see them back in the Premier League. And we've also been linked to a few of their players. Well, we've been linked to Waddle, but also the Spence and 
Johnson seemed destined for a move to the Premier League as well, should not the Forest not come up. And there's one player that impresses me a lot that I would like at West Ham, but before we do, let's talk about Warrow quickly then. 12 million is the rumour that Moyes is a long time a mile of him. I'm not sure about the centre back thing, you know. I think, obviously, Zuma has been in incredible form. I think Diop's been in decent form the last few games. I think Dawson's done quite well this season. You know, I'm not his biggest fan, but he's doing his job. Obonis back in training now, so that gives us four senior centre backs. I'm not sure we're going to spend a lot of money on a fifth centre back, if I'm honest with you. Um, I'm not convinced any of those four will leave either. So, someone like Waddle, it sort of makes sense. You know, he's in his mid 20s, good experience, 12 million is quite a good fee. But I think it would be difficult to get him game time, to be honest, especially with those four there. So, all this talk of a centre back, um, I'm not convinced by it, if I'm honest with you. I think it largely depends on Ogbonna's return and just how bad is his injury. I know he's coming back to training, but is he going to be the same player? We'll have to wait and see. So when I see us link to centre-backs between now and the summer transfer window, I think I'm going to be quite hesitant to believe it a little bit. I think we've got bigger priorities. Now, the Nottingham Forest player, just alluding to, is, is not really a Nottingham Forest player. He's a Man United player, James Gardner. Centre midfielder. And, um, I like him. I like him a lot, actually. I would love to see him at West Ham, but going by the five times I've seen him this season, that is, it's not loads. But I think Man United have got a lot sort of a hope for him long term at the club. But I'd just be surprised if he goes from not in Forest this season to Man United next season in their squad with their new manager and stuff. I'd be surprised if he can make that leap. I think there's maybe another season for him out on loan at a Premier League club. A bit like what Conor Gallagher's doing at Crystal Palace and what Billy Gilmer's doing at Norwich City, where he goes away for a year, gets a bit of experience under his belt. And I'd like to see West Ham certainly inquire. Obviously, if Nottingham Forest has come up, they're going to be sort of front runners for him kind of thing. He'd go straight back there on loan. But if he is going out on loan, I'd like to see us make a move for him. I think low cost, obviously, a loan, decent centre midfielder to have. And not somebody that you've got to play week in, week out. It would be a really good player to have as a squad role. I've been quite impressed by him, as I have with Johnson and Spence. Waddle, not so much, actually. I think he's done quite well when I've seen him, but nothing makes me think that guy can cut it in the Premier League any day of the week. Um, Lacazette. Lacazette. His contract's expiring at Arsenal. He's not been given a new one yet, and I think people are just sort of assuming he's going to leave. I would love him at West Ham. I would absolutely love him. We obviously had this, this sort of Lacazette gate back in 2016. It was a long time ago now. Six years ago when... You know, Sullivan told the world that we were going to sign a 20 goal a season striker. Lacazette and Carlos Baca were the two players we assumed we were going to try and sign, and we end up with Zaza. But I think he's done quite well at Arsenal. I don't think he's done as well as I expected, but certainly this season, since Aubameyang's been hoofed out to Barcelona, he's captain now. I think he's been wonderful for them. I think he works really hard. You know, he's a constant goal threat. I think he's a perfect striker for the likes of Martinelli, Saka, Odegaard, Smithrow. I would absolutely love to see Lacazette at West Ham next season. If he does leave Arsenal on a free, no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. An absolute no-brainer. Now, I'm not talking about a five-year contract. and I know he's getting on a bit. I think he's 31 years old now. But certainly a two-, three-year deal, I think. He'd be brilliant. I think he would offer us loads Um yeah, Lacazette, yes, please. Do I believe it? Not so much. I think he'd have bigger offers than West Ham. And when I say that, I mean Champions League clubs or bigger contracts or both. Um, we can't offer him Champions League football. We probably can't offer him the big monies after either. But if he wants to stay in London, you know, I doubt he's going to get a contract at Chelsea. So he's not going to go to Tottenham. It only really leaves us, doesn't it? So, yes, please, Lacazette. Who else we got? Right, now this is the guy I've not heard of. Lille centre midfielder Amadou Onana. 20 million. We're being linked to him as well. I don't know anything about him. So if you know about him, leave him in the comments. However, I'm going to put a link to all the players I've discussed so far in the video. And I've got a couple more um, in description of it to their transfer market profile. So you can have a little click. Have a little read about Onana if you so wish. Origi looks like he's on his way to AC Milan. We're linked to him quite a lot, haven't we? His contract's running out at Liverpool. He's leaving Liverpool this summer on a free, but it looks like he could be off to AC Milan. Meanwhile, a player we linked to a while ago, not under David Moyes, under Pellegrini, uh, Frank Kessie. Remember him? AC Milan centre midfielder. He's out of contract, but he's on his way to Barcelona this summer as well. And now, another player we've been linked to, I'm 
mm, heard of, don't know anything about. You know, that kind of player. Um, Anton Simeo, uh, Bristol City, stri I say striker. Plays on the wide of a front three, can play striker. Um, six goals, eight assists this season, 22 years old. £15 million. Pounds. A couple of Premier League clubs have been linked to him, including West Ham United. So that's interesting. Um, can't tell you much about him. I've seen... Do you know that you get that lazy comparisons? I think it's a football manager thing. I, used to, I haven't played football manager for a few years. But certainly back in the day, if you went on, I don't know, deck could buy some football manager would say similar to Steven Gerrard or something like that they would just tell you what player is similar to each so you get, get a, an idea of his attributes and stuff um, anyway because of that players nowadays get linked to other people don't they I, I saw one yesterday saying West Ham linked to a new Mbappe and I thought oh who's this clicked on it it was that uh, Villarreal winger that was at Bournemouth how you pronounce his name the Dutch guy Dan Juma or something. I thought, what? The new Mbappe? He's older than Mbappe. It doesn't work like that. Anyway, that's why I'm not mentioned in this video. Couldn't be arsed, but I did, didn't I? But anyway, this guy, Sameo, was linked, was uh, being compared in the article, right? To Didier Drogba. Well, yeah, no, no pressure for you, son. Um, but I don't really remember Drogba running down the wing in the front three, but never mind. So there you have it. Lazy comparisons. I don't like it, believe it or not. That's the West Ham transfer rumour show for today. Like I said, if you've got any ideas for video content, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be back later tonight to have a read of what you're all saying. And uh, I'm going to steal some of your ideas for later on this week. But I've got a tier list video done. I quite like it. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. If you enjoyed this transfer rumour show, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to be talking about, but I'll catch you tomorrow.